What's up guys, we are back with another video, and uh, today we're going to be talking about a bill coming out of, uh, was it, New Mexico, SB0224, and it's a uh, safe storage uh, law. So, uh, a New Mexico bill could make it a crime for parents to teach their children how to use firearms by establishing an authorized user requirement for handling guns. Uh, Democratic, Democrat State Senator... Antoinette Cedillo Lopez introduced Senate Bill 224 on Monday, which states a minor may be an authorized user only if the minor is at least 12 years of age and has successfully completed a firearms safety training course. Failure to adhere to the rules could lead to a fine of up to $1,000. So real quick, uh, the bill also requires firearms to be locked in a container secured with a gun lock in order to render the firearm inaccessible or unusable to any person other than the owner or authorized user. So uh, we're going to read the bill real quick. It's, it's, it's only like two pages. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, what it means, essentially. So, <clears throat> uh, so failure to secure a firearm penalty. It is an offense for a firearm owner or authorized user to store or keep a firearm in any premises unless the firearm is secured in a locked container or secured by a gun lock or other means so as to render the firearm inaccessible or unusable to any person other than the owner or other authorized user. B. If a firearm owner or authorized user knows or reasonably should have known that a minor, an at-risk person, or a prohibited person could gain access to a firearm belonging to or under the control of that owner or authorized person, and if a minor, an at-risk person, or a prohibited person obtained access to that firearm, it is an offense if the firearm owner or authorized user failed to secure the firearm in a locked container or by a lock or other means so as to render such firearm inaccessible or unusable to any person other than the firearm owner or other authorized user. Okay, so first of all, it says that you have to uh, secure it in a locked container or secured by a gun lock or other means uh, so as to render the firearm inaccessible or unusable to any person other than the owner or authorized user. Um, so realistically, <laughs> If you got in trouble for this 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 bill, um, because it wasn't actually in a gun safe or a trigger lock, I would just argue that the or other means so as to render the firearm inaccessible or unusable to any person other than the owner or authorized user, I would just say... I never have guests over at my house, so it being in my gun bag, locked behind closed doors, would be other means. I mean, realistically, if somebody breaks into my house and obtains my guns, how is that any different from them breaking into the safe to also obtain the gun? Because it's the same thing. They they're behind a locked door or safe or trigger lock or what it's all it's behind something that's locked so realistically the other means is not um it's open-ended so that in and of itself would probably be enough to just get around this but let's just say that for all intents and purposes the courts would say other means meaning the the same as a locked container or a gun lock or something like that so the other means would just be something akin to that and a locked door wouldn't do which is probably what would happen so that means that you have to lock up your gun even if you're at home if if you go to leave if you can't afford a, a safe then you have to put a trigger lock on it. But all of these firearms would be inaccessible to you in a home invasion, for instance. So what good what what good is the gun then? This is this is a violation of your Second Amendment right to bear your arms because you cannot bear your arms in a time of need 
when you would need to bear them if you can't access them in a timely manner. But the most egregious part of this bill is not that part. The most egregious part is later. So, for the purposes of subsections A and B of this section, a fire, uh, firearm shall be deemed lawfully stored or lawfully uh, kept if carried by or under the control of the direct person or other authorized user. A person who violates this will be fined $500. A person who violates subsection B of this section is guilty uh, and punishable by a misdemeanor and a $1,000 fine. Unless the violation results in a minor or somebody else you know, getting it, and then it's a, a, a worse charge, right? Now, here's the part, section F. A minor may be an authorized user only if the minor is at least 12 years of age and has successfully completed a firearm safety training course. Okay, so when you have kids, one of the things that you do if you're a gun owner is you teach your kids how to use guns responsibly. Them taking a firearm safety training course defeats the purpose of you training them yourself, one, and two, this would criminalize you teaching your six, six to, to 12 year olds how to shoot. Now, keep in mind, people as young as six, I have seen being taught how to use a gun. I've seen, you know, uh, eight and 10 year olds that could shoot better than me because their parents teach them from a young age how to properly treat it, how to utilize it. But this law would essentially outlaw anybody younger than 12 from being able to do it and anyone between 12 and 18 would have to take a safety training course so they would have to learn how to use a gun before being able to learn how to use a gun by their parents so th this is a terrible law on its face all the way through because s safe storage laws defeat the purpose of what you would use the gun for and criminalizing um and, and criminalizing the uh, criminalizing the ability to teach your children how to shoot is stupid <laughs> so the new mexico short Sh shooting sports association warned that the bill would make it a crime for parents to teach under 12 how to use a gun Quote, you would become a criminal for taking your child to go shooting if they had not previously taken some type of formal class uh, the bill is an uneducated attempt to demonize firearms. It is already a crime to place a child in a situation that endangers their life. This law does nothing to add to a child's safety. Yeah, there are already laws on the books that, that, that say that you can't do this stuff. Adding more restrictive laws that don't add anything to safety but only just restrict you more for no reason, it's just arbitrary, it's stupid. The proposed legislation comes as the FBI continues shattering firearm background check records. I mean, this year we've had, what was it, according to the FBI, uh, the NICS check system, 4.3 million background checks were conducted in January, kicking off 2021 with the highest number of checks ever performed in a single month since 1998. Yeah, a lot of people want guns because this nation's going insane, and all these people that just bought these guns are not the type of people that follow these laws closely. So you would have a bunch of people who would get caught up in this new bill because they're not paying attention to it because they buy the guns and they're told at the gun shop, oh, no, you don't have to store it a certain way. And then this gets passed behind their back and now they're a criminal. And it, and, and, and that and, and SB 224 doesn't even – it doesn't even apply if you have children. Like me, if I lived in New Mexico – um, I currently don't have a gun safe, right? And it's because they're super expensive. I have other ways to secure my firearms, obviously, like when I'm traveling or whatnot. But when I'm at home, I have guns that are staged specifically in case of a home invasion, right? Under this law, I'd be a criminal, even though I don't have kids in my home, simply because they're not locked up. Now, like I said, there you could probably get a good enough lawyer that would be able to use that or others uh, general uh, part of it to get out of it, but it would probably cost you more money. The best bet is just avoid this. So this bill shouldn't be passed. And, and, and 
you know, that's my opinion, but that's the opinion of just about anybody who, who owns guns. Um, so yeah, and then this article just goes on to talk more about how more people own guns now. So, you know, I, I think this is stupid. Um, you shouldn't face a, a thousand dollar fine just because you want to teach a kid how to shoot. Um, I, I, I just, I wholehearted, wholeheartedly disagree with that. And that's all there is really to say about it. Anyway, uh, thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you like these videos, go ahead and like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And please share these videos with some other people, uh, who may not know about some of this stuff that is happening in their state. Um, and check out some of my other videos. Um, uh, it should be popping up right around now at the end of this video. And, um, at the beginning of the video there, you may have seen a, uh, a, a tag to go to another thing, uh, or a suggested video, or, you know, if you subscribe, you can just go to my page and watch all of my videos. Anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks and have a good one.